What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I'm going to be playing something a bit interesting. Now, you do, we've seen a lot of really interesting um, seagull builds. Let's be real, they've all been pretty cool. Um, however, this time I'm going to be utilizing popcorns instead. I don't think we've, uh, we've seen any of this. Now, I'm sure mushroom would be better in like most every regard, let's be real. Um, but I've been doing a couple like random stuff like I did the sap lottery uh, type deal and this is uh, sort of that as well but this time uh, I'm going to be using seagull with popcorns and snake and tiger to get a bunch of hits off so it's really really cool uh, but there is another thing that honestly really really opened up my eyes I think I talked about it in my uh, level 3 whale video where I have seagull with melon and like it's eating boar and whatnot um, but this game really really shows it and that's the power of seagull and croissant so if you get seagull early enough you know turn 3 turn 4 I think even turn 5 you slap a croissant on there and every single pet that you play you know the first one that you play you get croissant on it so I mean as and you can see here we have spent three gold for this croissant and we've already tripled the value so we're getting plus one attack we are getting scaling without any scaling units at all and now this game was before the patch but i think um now with the the new patch out scaling is a bit worse this could actually be better like a lot a lot better um and you'll see by the end of um or by the time I get rid of my uh, croissant on seagull, like I still have units with croissant on it um, there. And just throughout the entire game, I think this is like the most valuable croissant, like most valuable single croissant I have ever seen, like ever. Um, I, I think by the end of it, I get like plus 20 attack, plus 25 attack or something from three gold. Three gold for plus 25 attack. That's insane. Inconceivable numbers. Um, so if you do get a seagull early enough, slap a croissant on it. You, you'll see how, how powerful it actually becomes. Because like here, I'm getting a soft dice every turn. It's turn six soft dice every turn for free that I paid three gold for. All right. Sorry, I'm getting really passionate about it. I just think it's incredible. Um, especially with uh, the new patch being out. Like I said, this is the old old stuff i'm really trying to get through it that's why i've been posting like two videos a day i'm like trying to get through all this old footage so i can get to some of the new footage that i already have um but here we go uh let's actually get into the game here we are on turn seven uh start selling some stuff off get a, a immediate level two eagle because i had a level two blobfish to begin with pill that bad boy um and now we're really really strong here and i'll be able to get a second or a level two seagull and then i can get croissant on twice as many pets whoa that'll be the day but you can see with no scaling pets at all we're actually pretty strong um and i was surprised at how strong we were because like we we don't really lose we're running we've been running like a four squad sometimes uh we're still at nine life turn eight it just feels good it feels really really good Get a penguin up in here. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, even this is a pre-nerf penguin. I'm still only buffing two things. It's actually weaker, if you think about it. Uh, I'm just so amazed at how how many croissants I got and how many buffs actually took place. It just, it wowed me. It really did. So here, turn nine, we can finally get our level two seagull. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, the unit that will basically be the first one um, to have popcorns. So now I could have done the mushroom idea, but if you do mushroom, then they only spawn back as one ones. And I didn't really like that. I wanted them to spawn back, you know, um, sort of sizable. So that way, um, so that way when they attack, they actually have a chance to live multiple hits. I mean, it's popcorns, you're not like really getting that much, but I tried to keep my tier sixes as like the the best tier sixes that you could get from popcorn. So like stuff with uh, faints, but not like, um, not with uh, multiple spawning pets faints, if that makes sense. Oh my God, that's a, <laughs> that was a mouthful. Um, because when, 
the mammoth actually dies and has popcorns on it, it will just keep resummoning that single one. If there is, like, say I have Orca or something, Orca will actually separate because you'll get one unit that spawns from Orca and then the unit that spawns from popcorns, and then snake, the snake triggers won't actually um, trigger. So that's why I did it this way. And I actually did mess up because I included reindeer, and reindeer would actually uh, overwrite the popcorns, which is kind of unfortunate. But at least when you do get reindeer, it's you're basically guaranteed two hits unless um, the guy has like a, a really big unit or whatever. And then I also wanted to get, of course, tiger and white tiger. Uh, white tiger, so I it was pretty easy to get a uh, level three snake because uh, that was uh, the main problem. I couldn't really find that many snakes. You know, I feel like I find so many tigers, um, like so many of other tier sixes snakes, though. They just elude me, man. And you can still see here, like, we're still rocking the full croissant. We have not picked up popcorns yet because I was like, it doesn't matter if I don't have snake. It doesn't really matter about popcorns. Uh, we might as well get as much value out of the croissant as we can. And here we find White Tiger, so now we can get a uh, level 3 Mammoth. And it's a good thing we saved up so many lives because um, I'm going to have to throw a little bit to find some snakes, I'm telling you. To get rid of all of our croissants. Doesn't matter, though. I'm so strong. My seagull is so big. I don't think my seagull has gotten a single buff from, like, any scaling unit. It's just all been croissant and, like, food. And now all we're doing is donkey rolling for popcorns and, um, snake. And you can see, like, throughout this whole game, haven't seen a single snake. And that was our first popcorns. I mean, I did freeze chocolate for quite a while. Wanted to get the, the level 2 white tiger, um pretty quickly and at least this way since we do have the tiger we can just double up on the mammoth in the meantime this guy was too strong though he's got a level two snake what the fuck man give that to me pass it over and so now we can get uh popcorns on seagull now when we do play anything it'll actually have popcorns get one on the mammoth um that's very important too because of course mammoth has to uh faint so we can keep cycling and you'll see it here um, it'll actually happen. Actually, I don't know if I get sniped. No, no. So so you'll see how, how it'll work. All I need to do is find a snake instead of uh, eagle. Well, there's the snake, but it's in the opposite order. And now uh, it's, it's in the wrong order again. <laughs> but just uh, the amount of popcorns I got was pretty crazy. Enough to, enough to win that for us. And I think, like, the build could have been pretty good with uh, Turkey or Vulture. Like, that could have been another added benefit instead of White Tiger. But White Tiger just makes the builds come together so nicely. Because um, you don't have to spend so much time looking for them. Because that, that's the problem, man. I barely found... I, this is the first snake. First snake. It's turn 15, man. What am I supposed to do? But, um, thankfully, we we don't get to see it so much here because we get uh, our seagull actually gets sniped by a leopard super unfortunate i think we could have actually beat this team believe it or not it seems unlikely but once the snake tiger hits start going it's crazy because we're getting 20 damage every time mammoth um attacks every time the popcorn unit comes out and that's like five times or something we we get 20 hits five times or uh 20 damage five times that's incredible if you think about it um so yeah, super fun build. I really enjoyed it. Worked out really well, especially uh, Seagull with Croissant. So keep that in mind. And look at that. We get Octo from it too. Double Octo. Absolutely beautiful. Didn't stand a chance. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.